Hugh, what in the world is this thing of the size of a galaxy's bulge must be fine-tuned, otherwise we wouldn't have life? Well, if the bulge is too big, that will generate deadly radiation radiating throughout the whole of the galaxy. So you don't want the bulge to be too large. But if it's not large enough, there won't be enough injection of heavy elements into that just right zone, uh, namely halfway out from the center to the halo, uh, where the uh, planet Earth would have to exist for life to be possible. Unbelievable. Now, everybody, when you look at night in, at the stars up there, okay, just think of this. Is there's 10 billion trillion stars out there. Question is, did God overdo it? I mean, why do we need all 10 billion trillion stars out there just for us to look at them? No, the astronomers are, astronomers are saying what? They're mm -hmm. absolutely necessary. necessary. You got a little bit more, a little bit less. Life wouldn't be possible. All right, let's look at this video clip that talks about why all of these stars are necessary and why if you had just a few more, you'd be in trouble. If you had a few less, you'd be in trouble. Watch this. Millions of galaxy clusters fill the universe, each containing thousands of galaxies, adding up to 10 billion trillion stars. That's 10 with 21 zeros after it. To try to get a handle on this colossal number, consider this. If 10 billion trillion dimes were stacked on top of each other, the line of dimes would make 125 trips to Alpha Centauri and back. As vast and innumerable as all these galaxies and stars may seem, and as tiny and insignificant as they make us feel, this enormity is essential to life's existence. In order for the universe to sustain even one life support planet, each one of these 10 billion trillion stars is a necessity. If the number of stars in the observable universe were any greater or any fewer, life would be impossible. If there were fewer stars in the observable cosmos, nuclear fusion would be so inefficient that the only elements to form would be hydrogen and helium. With more stars in the universe, all the elements would be heavier than iron. No carbon, no nitrogen, no oxygen. Only in a cosmos with a finely tuned mass of ours can the life essential elements be produced. So as it turns out, the vast reaches of the cosmos are not a big waste of space, energy, matter, and time.